and welcome back to my aquarium. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, I'm getting a bunch of new achievements because I'm getting a bunch of new items unlocked because there was a big update in the past two days for this game, so I knew I had to come back and get a little video on it recorded and actually see if we can experience some of these new items and whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue last run. Pretty sure I guess read it out for a reason. Start a new run. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, we actually won on an F rank world, so we can't go to E rank. And rookie. All right, another new achievement. Might get our cheekies clapped, but we're going to try. So they added a bunch of new stuff, including three new weapons, I believe, and 25 new passives. So a lot of stuff. So I'm interested to get in here and obviously try some new stuff, but just keep making progress too. So we can, well, you know. Oops, I wanted to put my pins down, but I just started it, so that's okay. Oh, here we go. Crossbow. Shoots the healthiest enemy. Well, I've never seen this, so... Yeah, sure, let's grab it. And it's like a big boy heroic one. Oh, only one bolt? Okay. Can I get an enemy, please? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Looks like this thing has a high crit rate, perhaps. So maybe we should really max out crit. Or base damage. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this armor early on. Let's just get some early defense. I don't know. I feel like I might get smacked <laughs> in these higher difficulties here. I guess we'll see. And the thing with this is that it always shoots at these higher in health enemies, but those guys fly by so fast it doesn't one-tap them. Okay. Throw a sword around you, piercing enemies and returning back. Attack delay. Critical damage. Huge. Two projectiles and four piercing. When you are not moving, you get damage mitigation. Damage multiplier, you become an immovable object, so we can't be knocked back. Oh my gosh. I want to try this sword ring. I'm going to get this sword ring. Now we're talking. I needed something more... Well, normal, that I can actually attack enemies with. And then the crossbow, I think, would be really good for boss killing. And the sword ring will be really good for enemy clearing, as we can see with these guys flying through. Yeah, keep giving me the defense. I want some defense. Are they already shooting at me on the first level here? So besides all the new stuff they added, they added... Well, I mean, obviously you can already see some of the new stuff already, which is amazing. They added uh, optimization type stuff too, which is great to see. I'm very happy about that. Is it spaces dash in this game too? Can I change that? Uh, maybe not. Controls? Ooh. Left shift, please. There we go. I've been playing a lot of Soulstone Survivors, and they also have dashes in that game. And I did the same thing. I had to change my dash to a shift in that game, because I just can't do it. Fortress, this is new. 150% defense multiplier and huge base defense. Yes, please. I just said I wanted to get pretty tanky if we can, so I'm going to keep up with that and see if we can just get tanky. Enemies are taking a long time to kill. Well, not necessarily a long time to kill, but there's not many running at us, I guess I should say, and that's what's taking long. These are new enemies, I feel like. I've never seen these guys. Holy, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. They're just zooming in towards us. Quick. Because it's projectile speed and move speed. We lose projectile size. Or dash charges. Just give me dash charges, please. I could have gone for the projectiles as well, and I probably should have, honestly, but... We're going to go for dash charges right now. These guys are still doing their little circle thing, huh? Now we're getting some enemy spam. Alright, I can already tell this is going to be much harder. There we go, let's pick all that up. Um, yep, yeah, iron skin. Like I said, I just want defense. All in defense. Another item there. Gold card. Crossbow level up, yes. Please, next stage. Okay, let me actually do my pin placement now. Zoom me out, chief. Let's go, question mark. Chest, question mark. Uh, we'll go... It's a big line of skulls there, but let's go skull... Question, question. Skull chest. Shop. Uh, yep, we'll hit two shops there. There we go. Okay. Turn off the pins. And I think that'll be a nice little path for us to follow. Let me say so myself. We need to definitely get some more damage ups here or it's going to turn bad for us quickly. Having good defense is good, but I'm also pretty slow. And I'm just not having the damage I want yet. I think some extra projectiles, some extra crit, and just like... Uh, attack speed would be nice. We can just throw these attacks out faster. You know what I actually just thought about? There wasn't a boss enemy. There was no elite enemies on that first stage. I feel like usually there is. There's a magnet upgrade, so we can just let all this XP fall and then pick that up in a second. 
there's usually an elite on the first stage, isn't there? Even on this one, it doesn't say to defeat an elite, so I wonder if they'll actually throw one at us. Huh. That's interesting to think about. Maybe they changed that? I, I did read the patch notes. At least what was on Steam, which I'm pretty sure was everything they changed. Um, and it didn't say anything about that. But you never know. They could do some, like, stealth stuff. Let's get a level here really quick. Spear. Okay, we could actually aim that. I'm gonna do it, and then we'll try to roll these. Because I remember I've had spear before, and it's actually pretty darn good. Especially if you can get a lot of attack speed. Spear can go crazy. So we'll try to let it. Got some mushrooms in here. Remember these dudes? Uh, they did say they changed how the projectiles look and whatnot, which the projectiles have looked a little different. Give me that. There we go. That's what I was looking to do, was just finish it and do all that at once. Damascus Steel would be amazing. Ooh, damage mitigation would be nice. Give me Damascus Steel. Let's get some actual damage here. I'd love to do my crits if I could as well. And then just projectiles and cast frequency. Take a sip of water here, excuse me. Alright. Let's keep going here. Gonna level up in a second. That will be good. Okay, there's critical chance. That's what I was waiting for. I want to get these crits going. I just remember we actually have, to, actually have to aim now. I wish it was easier to tell when the spears were coming out. I feel like they're really small sometimes. Yeah, look, look, it looks like they're barely flying out. <laughs> okay, I feel like the, um, the heck is that? What was that? It looked like a little green apron. I don't know. Maybe it was just some gems looking weird or something. I'm not quite sure. I think every 15 chest I'm guaranteed a magnet upgrade. I'm pretty sure I bought that from the uh, meta progression. Just keep smacking these guys down. Boomerangs are to come back and smack them again. That's cool. Yeah, the boomerangs horns seem pretty good. I kind of thought they'd throw them in like a spiral around me. It seems like it more kind of goes clockwise and then throws the next set and can it goes like that. Damage, base damage, and beast defense. Oh, I really do want to finish crossbow, but that applies to everything, so let's do that. Give me the XP, please. Gold card. Oh, pike is what I'm thinking of, not spear. Yes, pike is amazing. Screw spear. That's, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Ooh. Yep, I mean... 50% chance for soul gems to be attracted. Everything's attracted to me, I gotta tell you. We're definitely gonna go with that since it's so early on. It allows you to draw two soul cards at the end of an elite stage. Maybe it'd be risky. Or maybe it would be worth going to an elite stage then. Just to really power up even faster. Projectile size, knockback. Critical damage, please. Let's start pumping these crits if we can. And still no elites. Still just regular monsters killed. Oh, there we go. There's a little boss. Alright, we can focus this guy down. Yeah, see, now I'm talking the pikes here. He is tanky, holy hell. Castle, base health and base defense. Sure, why not? We might be able to get something later on. I know there's a new passive that lets you trade health for damage. Uh, oh, right, I have to fill my health up in this game. You don't just get max health right when you do that. Do the level for it. Forgot about that. That's always the thing in some games, right? Some games it's like, okay, you got the upgrade, so you immediately get that full health that you just gained. Other games it's like this, where it's like, okay, you gotta go find a healing item and heal the new max health that you have. Which is understandable. We are really not doing much damage to this boss. And there's already a second one, so that kind of scares me. Here's what I mean. We can get damage multiplier, but we lose max health. Uh, I'm just gonna go XP multiplier right now. Because I think we definitely need it. And let's just keep trying to kill this guy. I'm really just trying to chip through with him. There we go. We kind of lined them up now. So we can tear both of them down at the same time. I could have stayed in that circle, but I really didn't want to. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to run back into some of this XP as well. But still try to hit them if I can. I'm trying to let anything touch me. There we go. Uh, critical damage, please. We need to really just crit these guys and tear them down. You see all the red numbers coming out. We are actually doing pretty good crits sometimes. I think especially from our pikes, maybe? 
I just got a notification on my phone and I glanced away for like one second, took a little bit of damage, so... <laughs> that one's on me. I'm gonna try to loop around and hit this box. Maybe we can get a... Uh, magnet upgrade out of it? Yeah, we're not killing these guys. I really need a magnet upgrade. Cause there's about to be a lot of XP that we're missing. See, what is that? That little green thing that I just got, what is that? Critical damage or pike. Give me the pike. Might be a bad choice, but I don't know. We need to level these up uh, abilities. I say as I see Fortress again. Defense multiplier, base defense. Yeah, we're getting our defense up there, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep fighting. Alright. Come at me. Okay, there's a little heal for us. Let's keep that in mind. We'll head back for it if we need to. I don't know. Our damage feels lackluster. Definitely feel the difficulty spike from going from a, a D rank to an E rank, I think is what it was. or The other way around, E rank to a D rank. You know what I mean. We're on a higher difficulty and I can definitely feel it. Okay, there we go. That's better boss damage than last time already. <laughs> yeah, the pikes are definitely helping. That's what I wanted to do was get a pike upgrade because I knew they're pretty good if you can really get them stacking. So if I could just get a bunch of pikes going out, I think they could be a good boss killer. Is it the same in boss, even on like a higher rank world, or does that change? I have no clue. Can I get a? Yes, that's what I was looking for. Yo, XP multiplier straight into a magnet upgrade. Didn't really do much. Oh wait, no, we're actually almost in the next level already, so I did a lot. And we don't have to go back for that XP now, so that's very good. Level me. There we go. I'm just gonna keep doing XP multiplier. Using your head, literally. Yeah, sounds good to me. You think that's like a headbutt attack? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Dude, I'm really just not killing these bosses. I just need to survive, and I already did that part. Now I just need to kill. But they won't take damage. Oh, lord. Not the skeleton army. Oh, uh, can I have that money, please? No, that's okay. I don't even know what to do here. Alright, well. I guess we'll just stop talking about the game for a bit. Ooh, can move speed. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I've just been mostly chilling. It's been fun working on the main channel and this one as well. Especially since the main channel's been a little slow, just because the uh, Destiny 2, the game I mainly play, has been a little slow, and it's not going to release its next big DLC until like a month from now. So basically... It's kind of just like chilling, making whatever content you want or can in the meantime, um, which can be very fun. But for me, I kind of use that as a good excuse to play other stuff. I really need to do these weapons, but critical chance is huge. But yeah, I really need to get these level weapons leveled up just by themselves and stop doing passives. Let's commit from now to just doing weapons. Until, unless we see like a legendary upgrade for a passive, and in which case I'll grab it. Otherwise, let's just do let's do weapons. And give me that XP. Okay. Um. Yeah, just give me the damage mitigation. Take me up here. Don't need that yet. Oh my god, you're fast, and I don't like it. Big mushroom. Let's see if we can kill that guy, maybe. Since I can't kill bosses, apparently. Yeah, I just need a weapon upgrade. If I could just get, like, the crossbow, I think, especially. I think it has some pierce, and it should be targeting the bosses. And having it crit really hard is good, but we also just need to get its base damage up so that those crits matter more. Spear, I did not even mean to pick up. I wish I hadn't. So I am going to ignore it and just get this. Rule 34 material? No! Why is that? That should not be... That should not be in the game. Oh my god, we just unlocked a lot of stuff. That's good to know. Hey, I like unlocking stuff. It means that we're going to be to uh, experience it at some point. <laughs> Keep dashing here, get out of trouble a little bit. See, there's another one of those things. What is that? It's like green. My thought is maybe it refreshes your dashes. Spike shield, some base damage is huge, actually. It's something we desperately need. 
Okay, this is getting kind of annoying with the dashes. I have two of them. And even if I do anything slightly more than a little bit of a tap of my dash button, it just immediately uses my second dash after the first one. Like, there should be a built-in cooldown of like half a second so that doesn't happen. Yeah, like the game makes you chain them even when you don't want to. Ooh, damage multiplier would be huge, but look at this. More projectiles, more piercing. Let's let's start doing it. Let's start getting that leveled up, and I think we can actually start killing stuff. Well, start killing bosses, I should say, but even just killing stuff, dude. These guys are too fast. I need movement speed upgrades. I need everything, and I'm getting none of it. I think this loss, uh, this run will probably be a loss. Just because I'm not getting strong enough, I feel like. Not getting strong enough fast enough. Yo, eat a bucket of rocks, freaks. Yeah, we're not killing any of these elites, so I'm not even going to waste my time. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to say look for a chicken and do this. When you dash, increase your attack speed by 5% for 2 seconds. Uh-huh. I am dashing a lot, and I did say if it's like... I guess they're not called legendary upgrades, they're called heroic. But I did say if we saw heroic upgrades, we would take them. Get me in there, chief! Yes, okay, we got most of that. Crossbow. Okay, crossbow's getting pretty strong, that's what I'm waiting for. I need to just get these weapons leveled up. So if I dash here really quick... Okay, yeah, we shoot way faster for a second after we dash. Alright, well that's a little bit of sauce, right? So I can dash and then really just target this guy down. Dash, target him down, and then maybe I'll just always try to save one dash. This was the first time I like actually doing respectable damage to a boss. Dash through these guys. Let him run at me. Um, Projectile size, knockback. Damn, it's multiplier! Or just straight up pike. I... Ooh, or a crit. I will just take straight up pike. I think I really need to pump this pike. Pumpkin pike. My favorite thing at Thanksgiving. <laughs> hey, here is my suggestion for any types of games like this. If I'm full health and a healing item drops, don't let me pick it up. Like... Because it magnetizes to me. Like, there's one on the ground right there. Even though I'm full health, not missing a single HP, if I walk towards it, it's going to pick it up. And that's really annoying, actually. So, maybe stop letting it do that. I'm going to dash up really quick, get some attack speed, maybe kill this guy. Yeah! Okay, I'm not going to go Windblade. Although I do think it's very strong. We already have too many weapons. Attack speed, we lose base defense. Um... I'm just gonna go Pike. I think it's really good, and I think we just need to keep pumping our damage. I think Pike is probably carrying us a little bit right now. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, it just made me use both my dashes right there. A 0% one to two. Crossbow. Ouch. Got kind of hemmed in there. I don't know if we have time to kill this second elite. I'll get over there, and I'll try. Spear, no thanks. I'm basically pretending that it didn't exist and that I didn't screw up by picking it up. <laughs> but I very much so did. Yeah, I don't know if we can get the second elite just because I'm getting swarmed too much. Little too much swarming going on. Yeah, those projectiles do look a little more clear maybe than they did before. Oh, I could just be tricking myself with that. I'm trying to stay in this area because that's where all the XP is, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we just gotta keep going for the crossbow. If we can just finish the crossbow, we can actually have boss killing and elite killing power. Same thing, I gotta get this upgraded. Like, I wanna do the crit and stuff, but I gotta get these weapons done. At least the crossbow and the boomerang. Although the pike is actually getting pretty high, high up there. Defense multiplier and damage mitigation, I would love to see that, but give me the critical chance. Light hand, attack speed... You know, I skipped it before, so I will grab it this time. I think some attack speed is exactly what we need right now. Just pump damage out. And... Pike is huge here. Let's get Pike. There's an XP one down there. Okay, look how fast our pack is. Pike is attacking now. 
That's what I've been waiting for. Again, they made me use both my dashes there. Is that a bug? I feel like it wasn't doing that the last time I played. I also have my uh, dash button on space bar, so maybe that's a little bit for it. Because I do kind of hold my pinky down longer uh, by using my shift key than I do my th thumb when I do on my space bar. So I guess it could be a little bit of a me problem. Cursed book. The experience multiplier will be lose base defense. Or magic wish. I've never seen this. Summon a wisp. It'll target random enemies one after another. Attacking any other enemy in its path does not benefit from additional projectiles. Okay, in the future, I'd love to see this. But for now, I'm not going to go it. That's a huge experience multiplier. And I don't want to lose the base defense. But I, I need XP. I need to level up. Especially because we're like halfway done here. That's going to be some big boss XP. And I can't quite grab it yet. But I did see a uh, void magnet upgrade somewhere down here. I swear I did. Where did it go? I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Oh, there it is. Top right. Weak point. Critical damage. Yes, please. I need to kill these bosses too, but let me grab this real quick. There we go. Projectile breakdown into three smaller projectiles. Yep. Oh my god. Look at the pikes. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's something we definitely needed. Didn't say they lose damage when they broke down, so I'm gonna assume they don't. I'm gonna go on the other side of these mushrooms and then just try to stick some of these guys. I do love Death Aura, but we have too many uh, weapons already. So let's keep going damage, mitigation, and some move speed is very much something I'm interested in. Um, Damage multiplier would be huge. Ugh. Give me Spike Shield, honestly. I think it's a good passive, and we're getting pretty close to finishing it, so. Any heals or... Nope. Okay, we're actually doing damage to bosses now. This is great. We're about to finish up here, so I don't think we're going to kill another one of these, but I'd love to dash back in. There we go. Um, move speed or damage on the spear. Nope, move speed, please. <laughs> I'm not doing that spear. I wish I could sell it, to be honest with you. XP, card selection, recursion, damage multiplier. Hmm. Yeah, I'd love to get more sword ring, but I... I think we need to go this. Increase experience gain by 100%, reduce gold gain. We do have two shops, so that's not the greatest thing. But I did already take the cursed book for Dan or XP multiplier, so I still see no reason not to just go it. Each soul card increases your damage by 2%, actual bonus plus 40%. Yeah, it sounds great to me. <laughs> um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save my money for the next shop, so maybe we can actually buy another relic in there. I would love Frenzy, but I'm going to go Pike since we're getting to the end here, and I think I need to finish my weapons. More crit chance? Yes, please. Alright, Pike is kind of going crazy. Even the range on it is pretty nuts right now. Good, that's what I wanted to see. I didn't think Pike would be the thing doing good area for us, area denial. But it is, it's actually doing really good area damage and whatnot, so. But at the same time, it's doing really good direct damage, too, look. I think Crossbow is finally getting to a point where it's doing good as well. I think it's burning this guy. Okay, you see in the top left? Ooh, I'm in the middle of a dash right now. That could hurt me. No, we're fine. On the left side of the screen, there's that green thing there. What is that? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dash towards it. Where'd it go? Did I pick it up? I'm gonna see if it fills my dash. Okay, it's a dash refill, I think. It looked like my dash is immediately reset when I touched it. That's pretty cool. Uh, damage, please. Yes. I'm gonna dash up twice, get around these guys. I could get, like, a void magnet. That'd be cool. Sword ring. More pierce on that. And just more overall damage. Is a lifesaver. And not the candy. Or what you have on a ship. Just, well, actually, yes, kind of like what you have on a ship. That's the actual reference I was going for. <laughs> okay. Damage multiplier or critical damage? I'm gonna go damage multiplier just in general. It was the funniest thing. I don't know if any of you have ever been like on a, on a cruise, but. Yes, please. Cruises are really funny. When you go on the first day, you have to do something called a mustard drill. It's essentially just like, okay. In case we start sinking, 
this is where you go. You come here, and then we'll get you onto a lifeboat, right? Um, and they kind of teach you what to do with your life vest and all that shit. <clears throat> I do want to reroll here. I want to use it. Sure. And, um, it's, it's good, but it's just, like, funny how it's, like, I mean, obviously it's a necessary thing to do, and I'm glad they do, but it's just funny to be, like, yeah, in case you're gonna fucking die, uh, here's how to prevent it. And, okay. Enjoy your time. It's like, okay. That was a bit of a downer, but go off. Ooh, dash cooldown. Give me the attack speed after dash. Increase experience gain by 50%. You know what? A little late. A little late. Okay, hopefully I have enough money here to actually get something. Darn, we don't. Well, you know what? It's a little late for that anyway, so who cares? Um, base health regen would be nice. Attack speed would be great. Give me this. This. We couldn't get the other one, so I'm fine with that. And we're on the boss stage. I think we're kind of screwed here. I didn't max out a single weapon. I could get one more dash charge. Or you get defense multiplier. Base health and base defense. Yeah, we'll take those, I guess. Oh, hello. You're one of the first champions. Okay. Here's like a second champion. I'm going to dash once, get a little bit of attack speed. Dash twice, get a little more attack speed. Just trying to burn these guys down, to be honest with you. Slay the champions. There's four of them already. I like how they have actual health bars with like real numbers on them. There goes one. Get some XP here. Yes, please. Sword ring. Three projectiles now is a huge upgrade. I'm going to try to just farm some XP here as well while we're here because we need it for the actual boss boss comes. The big bad, I should say. Split. Additional projectiles, we lose projectile size. Do I really care about projectile size? We have fractal, so everything splits into three anyways. Yeah, so just give me more projectiles, please. I think the entire point of this kit is kind of that everything splits anyways. So we want a bunch of projectiles, and they do a bunch of crits. So the more projectiles we get, the more amazing it is. In my opinion. And I think my opinion might be correct in this scenario. Spear size up. Well, I kind of just ruined my size a second ago, so... But that's such a little crit chance. I mean, 50% crit chance is already great. Yeah, give me that. Now we're talking critical damage. Okay, there's the same boss as last time. I kind of forget his patterns, though, because it's actually been a little while since I fought him. So first of all, let's find him. Hello there. Pretty good damage. Not bad. There's some of his attacks. I remember those. I definitely remember this one because it always eats my cheeks. Good attack speed, please. Hello. Please stop shooting me. <laughs> Or shooting at me. Okay, there's that attack. That's gonna split, right? Yeah. Kind of just bombing him from up close while I can. There's his summons. Here's big chest guy. Gotta be careful of him. That's gonna split. Ouch. Those hit me a little bit. It's okay, though. Be careful with our dashes here. Yeah, another dash charge, honestly. Oh, that's such a big critical damage up. I have to get that, though. Is he going to do the thing now? Nope. Summoning again. There's some projectiles. A little bit of food in my belly. Take these guys out. Okay. Sorry about that. I got interrupted there. Oh, look. I'm out of his attack range, actually. Well, I kind of want to get into his attack range because I want to, um, you know, beat the shit out of him. There's a summoning circle. Where did he go off to? Top right. Here he is. Hello, ugly. You know what? I'll take the defense and damage mitigation. Why not? Alright, you can't just teleport away right when I get into range of you. Ooh, that's big. I really don't want spear, dude. <laughs> Give me movement speed. He's really fast, and I don't like it. I kind of wish he was being chillin' like I am. I'm pretty good, though. Yeah, somebody came in and started talking to me. 
I need to get one of those red lights outside of my room. It's just like, you know, it says like recording like you have inside of a radio station. <laughs> Some people know not to annoy you at certain times. Would be pretty clapped up. Extra projectiles, we lose base damage. I'll just take the defense, to be honest with you. Okay, I thought that was going to be red laser, so I was getting a little scared, but it's not. His next attack should be red lasers, though, right? Yes, here it comes. We can see it targeting us. There we go. We dashed out of it pretty well there. Got another elite on us. So we got to take him out pretty easily here. Well, easily. I mean, yeah, I'd say pretty easily. I'm just trying to bomb him with the pikes here. By staying on his cheeks the best I can, but he's kind of shifty. And there's a lot of enemies getting on us. Dude, I, I think Fractal really took our sword rings to like a much higher level. To where they're way better. Let's kill this guy. Maybe we can actually get some good XP here. We're going to get hit by the big laser attack. Obviously, the farther we are away from that, the easier it is to dodge, because it has a bit of an arc on it. Alright, I'm kind of just trying to bomb him a little bit now. We can hit chest on the way to kind of get some heals. He's teleporting around a bunch. Hey, um, knock it off. You're really annoying. I'm going to dash through him. Ouch. That's not very fun. All right, he's coming towards me. Let's back off a little bit. Yeah, there we go. He's coming towards us. We're good. Let's see, I just like to get enough move speed where I can actually run away from that. Yeah, definitely not as strong as my last run where I beat this guy. It's been a while since that run, but I remember that we were bombing him way quicker than this. Uh, but hey, I'm just trying to be patient at the same time. Being impatient is how you die in these games. That's how I died the first time. Sure, give me base damage. See, I got to a situation like this where it was like, oh, I can just kill him, and I just stood on top of him, and his laser attack came out, and then I just got my ship beat in, so I'm like, I'm not doing that again. He got stronger, right? Yeah, it seemed like he got a little stronger. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. He's definitely stronger, too. Wait, why do I need card selection? Gives one free reroll every time you select cards. Next step. There's more? Oh shit, brother. We in the freaking desert. I didn't know there was a second zone now. Sheesh. Okay. Well, let's plot a course. I'm thinking... We go straight down mid here and just hit these fights. And this chest and this fight. And this fight and this chest and then ooh, we can hit no we can't hit two chests no matter what we do so we might as well go this way and let's you want to do one elite fight here I mean, we should do an elite fight as late as we can i guess so we'll, we'll, we'll do an elite fight here what is this there's an anvil here huh, maybe it's like a blacksmith or something okay so i guess we still have time to get all these weapons upgraded and stuff Oh man, I feel like you don't usually get to see my pikes. Oh, I gotta plug my headset in. Hold on. Sorry about that. It's like wireless and it beeps when it wants me to plug it in and it just went beep beep. I was like, alright brother, I got you. So we actually could get another weapon here and I'm looking at Windblade. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I know there's still a lot of weapons I want to level up, but I know Windblade can be very good. And I think with the uh, passes we already have, it's going to do some good work for us. Dashes, please. This is very interesting. I didn't know there was a whole other stage here. A whole other zone. I like it. Okay, crossbow is finished with this level. That's huge. Now that crossbow is finished, that's what I'm saying. It's a good time to pick up another weapon. Oh, we just got a bunch of defense too. With crossbow being finished, it's the perfect time to pick up another weapon. I.e. windblade. Because we can just level that up critical damage uh, in place of us leveling the crossbow. The only thing I'm looking at for the rest of this run, first of all, defense. We have crazy um, XP gains 
we picked up a lot of passes and whatnot that made our XP gains insane. As you can tell by the fact that we're leveling up like crazy. But our gold gain is halved, I think. So shops are not going to be much for us. But I think that's just basically offset by how much we can level. That's my hope, at least. I think still screw spear, honestly. If I have to go spear, like we finish all of our other weapons, I will upgrade spear. But it's just not my main focus. And I think you can probably understand why. Critical damage is finished with that passive. Well, it's not finished, but it's uh, that passive specifically is finished. Dude, let's go. Give me that XP. No, I should have gone up there. I didn't see it. Split. Yeah, screw. Well, oh, our wind blades are going to be really small. Yeah, but they also split a bunch, so does it matter as much? I don't know. I think I've already kind of committed myself to the split. Especially with the freaking pikes here, so it's like, I think this is kind of where we're going. Are these seagulls? Or vultures? They look like seagulls. And I'm in Florida, so I know what a seagull looks like. Wind blade, yes please. A little bit of chicken. That I shouldn't be able to pick it up, but the game says have it. Okay. Dude, can I just say the music here <clears throat> is bumping? I would love to do critical chance, but I'm just gonna max out the wind blade as fast as I can, I think. I mean, look at it going. It's cutting through those guys. Just a little bit of extra damage is what we need, you know? Just to help the pikes out especially, I think, is huge. But look how much the damage the pikes do. As soon as they start hitting something, that's when stuff starts melting. But yeah, we're actually sticking Windblade really quick here. Yeah, if I could get, like, what was it we saw earlier? A Wisp? I would take that weapon, because it looked very interesting. Or maybe, like, a Death Aura is what we need to, like, really go to the next tier here. The Mask of Steel, huge. And then maybe we just really stick crit next? I mean, I know we've been sticking it pretty well, but even more hardcore stick crit if we can. I mean, we're leveling like crazy. Size up or spear? Here's one of the... I was going to say a few times I'm going to go spear, but I'm actually not going to go spear. <laughs> you can't make me. Okay, that was good XP pickup. Card selection fold. Base damage is up. Defense multiplier is up. Damage mitigation is up. And area... Attack area size. Our attack area size is already dookie. So I'm kind of like... Yeah. I'm basically a defense lord right now with a good portion of my build, so... These can be 6.2 or 12 million XP. I would love to do sword of ring, but to finish this card is huge, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Yeah, look how much... God, we have so much defense with that. Holy cross. Oh, 25% damage, move speed, health, and pickup range. You're speaking my language now. Impenetrable, finish that card. Yeah, sounds good to me. Offensive defense, yeah, exactly. Um, We lose projectiles, but we get attack speed. No, thank you. I'll take dash charge. Attack speed, but lose base defense. Honestly, just... Give me... Sword of Ring. Look at that critical damage multiplier. It's going from 300% to 500%. So basically our, our Sword of Ring is going to be critting like crazy now. We do have a uh, XP uh, magnet upgrade in the top right there. So once we kill these guys, we can walk up there, grab that, and get all this XP drawn to us. Or we can wait till the stage ends and do it. Okay, I'm kind of worried that these guys aren't dying super fast. Sword of Ring is piercing like crazy now. 14 pierces is pretty darn good, in my opinion. Honestly, let's loop around and see if we can get towards that magnet upgrade. Kill these guys while we're at it. That Holy Cross is a big pickup, I gotta say. There's one. There's two. Give me that. Just give me the Sword Ring. I'm not even gonna look at the other ones because I just want to finish Sword Ring. And did I just finish it? Wait, do you see how small the Sword Rings are? Oh my god, they look like thumbtacks. I didn't even notice that was them. I knew I was making my shit small, but I didn't know I was making it that small. Damage multiplier, huge. Interesting. Is that too small, do you think? I mean, it's still hitting, right? So does it matter? I can kill this guy before we get out of here, right? Yeah. Well, I think 
that these are basically the, like, the definition of death by a thousand cuts right now from my sword rings. And I couldn't quite get those guys. Critical chance, damage multiplier. Maybe I should do this spear. Nah. <laughs> Card selection, wind blade. Yeah, just do it. I think it's also really tiny. It is, look how small it is. But then again, when it splits, it kind of goes everywhere. And it kind of tears it the fuck up. Okay, I'm starting to appreciate this. This is interesting, for sure. And where are the crossbow bolts? Okay, I see them. They're kind of like those little white lines. Okay, so maybe we should start building up our uh, attack size again, because it is really, really small. Okay, I think the crossbow is actually chopping these guys up pretty good. Or the, uh, the bosses, I should say. Because that's what the crossbow focus is. And if we can get them on this angle with the uh, wind blade, we can kill them pretty easily. I'll do Damascus Steel. I wouldn't mind getting more fold, but I'm going to go Damascus Steel for now. And let's see if we can find some maybe some passives or a new weapon that'll give us uh, some area size. Because I think we kind of screwed ourselves with that one. Again, part of me doesn't know how much it really matters even. But part of me is like, we should probably get some projectile size. Yeah, look. Oh my god, our projectiles are so tiny. Give me Windblade. Let's just finish it. Just finish it, I think, is a really good idea. Holy heck. I don't like that. I don't I don't like that at all. Oh, you, you got some health on you, huh? I can still dash through you, so I'm not too worried, but... Yeah, we're almost finished this stage. Level 79? Darn, I missed the uh, the nice level. Yeah, that is a tanky wall of boys, huh? There we go. Let's get back up in here. Get everything we left behind. There's Celerity. We'll finish that off. But our attack speed's going crazy. Please give me some... Ooh, 12 mil XP again. Okay, here here's what I'm saying. Oh, I think I have to go that. I think I have to go that. I've had Thunderstaff before, and I really don't think it's that good. Re uh, reduces bosses and champion health by 30%. That's amazing. Bookworm again? Okay, I can only imagine we're going to be leveling, like, insanely fast. Okay, projectile size, only 2%, but it's something. Yeah, give it to me, Chief. Any kind of projectile size I can get, I really need. Okay, so this guy should have 30% less health? Or was it just bosses and champions? I think the time has come where we're gonna go spear. I'm actually gonna level it. And if I can get a different weapon, then I'll do it. But if I just have to level spear, then screw it. Let's do it. Screw it, let's do it. That's my usual guess race. <laughs> Say, hey, hey, why not, chief? I'm kind of just saying to the Thunderdome right now because it's kind of working for me. Big blue cactuses be damned. I kind of wish they didn't have huge health bars in the bottom because it makes me think there's enemies touching me when there's not. I get a free reroll. Oh, I get a free reroll. No projectile size, I'm doing it. Build my size back up, G. If I can get my projectile size back to like 70% at least, I think that'd be huge. Hello, XP. Banished all critical... Nope. <laughs> Straight out, I'm not even going to entertain that fact. I want my crits. I built myself around crits. I'm not going to get rid of them now like a dumbass. Not a chance in hell. Yeah, let's try to group these bosses up so we can kill them at the same time. I am getting swarmed here a little bit, though. I'm getting kind of worried about that. Bosses, please do me a favor and die. Spear, let's do it up. So I'd go spear, and I'm going spear, baby. We're almost finished here, actually. I can dash through these guys. Size up. Yes. Okay. Size up is exactly what we've been looking for. I'm trying to get some of this gold at the same time, too. Damascus steel. Damage and projectiles. Um, I'll take the overall damage. 
Watch we get to the end of this and it's gonna be like, Spears has been your highest damage source. I'm gonna go, what? Size up, yes please. Taking damage increases your movement speed by 50% for six seconds. Sure. That might actually screw with me more than help me. In some cases, I'll be honest with you, but we're gonna try it. Attack area size, yeah, you know. I don't know how to do something smart for myself, so let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Stay on the move. Oh, I'm, I'm schmoovin', baby. Oil. Charge restored on dash cooldown. Sure. I don't really know what that means, but... Yes, is my answer. I like how the uh, color of the XP changed now that we're in a desert. When you're in, like, the forest, it's very, like, vibrant and greens and blues. And then when you get to the uh, desert, it's, like, reds and oranges. It's a cool little detail to see. I like when they do little, little stuff like that. It makes stuff unique. Gives it that little bit of character, I'd say. More projectiles, but lose base damage. Um, I'll do that once, sure. Just a zero of one upgrade. A one of one upgrade, I should say, so why not? We can make the base damage back. Oh, I must have got hit, because I'm zooming. Maybe I do get hit more than I think, and it's just like the tiniest tap of damage, and I don't really ever realize it. It probably makes sense in this game, honestly. There's so many enemies around you. I mean, like, right now I'm getting kind of smacked, to be honest. Chicken. Yes. Okay, there we go. See? Immediately make that base damage back. Honestly, some base health could be pretty clapped. And, uh... Maybe some pickup range? Oh god, I'm getting kind of swarmed here now. I'm getting kind of worried, honestly. I think I broke my sound as well. <gasps> oh, did I miss purple XP there? That sucks. Just... Just give me the spear, dude. You clearly want me to have the spear, I'll take the spear. <clears throat> I'll be honest, if I go to an elite level, I think I'll just die. But, um... I don't know, Mama didn't raise no quitter, so I'll probably try it for you guys. I'll try it for you, since I know you want to see it. Okay, the wind blade's actually nuts, isn't it? Dude, you do a dash, you get extra attack speed, and then you just let the wind blade tear them up. Um, finished Damascus Seal. Huge. Get me under this guy a little bit. Get me on the side of him for Windblade. And then just let it tear it up. I think it's mainly Pike doing the damage, but I do think Windblade is actually a little cracked. Just cheeking. Remember that upgrade where every time you picked up a piece of chicken, it was also a magnet? Can I please have that again? Because that is, like, the best upgrade in the game, I swear. I really would like that again. Attack speed or base damage? Yeah, just base damage. Sounds cool. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Not really ouch, because they're not technically hitting me, but they're scaring me, and that's emotional damage. Emotional damage. Just a little meme for you from the meme king himself. Who is not me. I don't know who he is, but you know. Sounds like a cool guy. Yes. We can get a bunch of projectiles from this. It just kills our attack speed and stuff, so I don't think so. You think it's worth it? No. Just give me spear, I think. Dash me through all this, please. Yeah, projectile lifetime. Do it. I don't know if I can go to... Uh, we'll, we'll try the elite stage. To hell with it. And our prize, if we can survive, is seeing what the heck of that blacksmith is all about. I don't know if we can survive, but maybe. Actually, maybe Spear is doing good. I just noticed how much faster I started burning these guys. And I also thought about the fact that we just have been leveling Spear a bunch. Maybe Spear is part of the reason for that. Especially after I dash and I get the attack speed multiplier. I don't know. I'm just throwing a theory out there, alright? You let me know if you think it's correct. 
Or I guess the game can when we actually see our damage at the end. Holy hell, he got burned. What happened to him? I guess he was just a boss that has less uh, health and XP. Or XP. Health and defense than other bosses. Like, these guys are tanky bosses. You're almost finished, Spear. The best weapon in the game is almost finished. I'm telling you, we're gonna get to the end of this game, it's gonna be like, damage recap, Spear, one billion quadrillion, and we're gonna go, whoa! Excuse me, can you stop shooting at me? It's kinda rude. I'm not really a uh, projectile kind of guy. I just more avoid you when you walk at me. Okay, or just keep doing it, it's fine. Oh, and the skeletons are just here for a parade, apparently. Can I get, um, a chicken? Or a magnet upgrade? Alright, Spear, you're finished. War Dog. Chicken. Let's try to kill this boss if I can. Oh, these skeletons are actually, like, fucking everywhere. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll take that. Take some base damage, I think, is always a good idea. Gold card. I'm not banishing crits, dude. Yeah, give me the projectile size, I want it. And the knockback doesn't hurt either, to be honest. That's a lot of XP. Damage multiplier, that's a huge damage multiplier, we have to go it. Shop prices are reduced, that's good, because we don't have any gold, really. But also, we're not hitting a shop. Well, uh, I said I'm no pussy, so we're gonna go for it, but... <laughs> I can't promise I survive this. I'm sure as shit gonna try. Oh, they're fast. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh lord. Itch my head. Top tier gameplay. Alright, what do we gotta do here? Let me check. Slay the champions and survive. Easy. Easy peasy, except for the part where it's hard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Shouldn't we just focus on surviving first, and then killing champions? Yeah, please make my projectiles bigger. Because I screwed up and made them like two inches long. Oh my god, he just dropped a huge piece of XP, I think. <gasps> Give me that. Projectiles. That's huge. Okay. Now it's just survive. And I'd love to keep leveling up while we survive. But I'd also love to not die. Addition. Oh, wait. That could actually kind of save our projectile size. But we lose projectile speed and move speed. Oh, Lord Almighty. Um. Screw it. Let's do it. Okay, we need chickens. Stat. Attracting enemies to you. I'd rather not attract enemies to me. Can we attract them somewhere else? And can I have some chicken, please? Chicken. Damage multiplier, we lose projectiles. I'm not doing it. Give me the mitigation, please. Okay, if I can just get a way to recover this health, we're set. There's some chicken. Let's go. Smack this guy down, I think. It's huge, it's huge. Damage mitigation. Okay, this is big. I think that projectile size is actually quite helpful. Let's get this slow. It's only one level, so we might as well just grab it, right? Oh, wait, I think it's actually really good. Oh, we got to full health somehow. From leveling or something? Or maybe just passive HP regen. Stick that guy. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll take a 200% damage multiplier. Get it, 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 get it. Now we're talking. Old base defense, defense multiplier. Shoot, we're just wrestling back and forth with the area size here. Attack speed, we'll lose projectiles. Eh, no thank you. I'll just take the move speed, honestly. Fully heal you on level up a little late, but not bad. 
could come in clutch. And we actually beat the elite stage. Tainted normal rarity soul cards are 75% less likely to appear. I like that. We finished spear, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Holy heck. Interesting. Huh. Oh, so they only sells weapons. And then some card selection. So you summon a wisp, it'll target a random enemy after one another. Okay. Okay. Screw it. Give it to me. Weak barge attack that pushes enemies back in the aim direction. Shoots the closest enemy. I just bought all the weapons. <laughs> um, I just got five different weapons. And they're all level one. Oh, yes. Attack size. Holy heck. <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot that really quick. I don't know if that's, did that even work? I don't think it did. That's okay. Holy hell. Dude. This is what I'm talking about, baby. XP? Yeah, level me. Give me literally anything. Give me that. I can't even see my mouse. There it is, so the left side of the screen. Um, yeah, I'll take a max health multiplier. Oh my god, look how much extra max health we can get. Heal me? That was kind of part of my plan, was just get really tanky, get a bunch of damage mitigation to where even if we take damage, it won't matter as much. Okay, here's my only thing. I don't know this boss's patterns. So let's go ahead and try to figure it out. I'm just going to stand to the side of him and kind of try to let shit hit him, which seems to be working fairly well. Now, what does he do? Nothing? Does he do nothing? He just is worm? Oh, he's worming it. Oh, children. He has children. Are they invincible? Are they just tanky? I think they're just tanky. Hello there. He came back to die. Oh, hello. Is he sleeping? Maybe you have to slaughter his children to make him pop back up or something. I don't know. That's worth a try, right? I'm just scared he's going to try to pop back up on me. This game isn't always the best at communicating boss attacks. Ooh, that's huge. Give me the XP. Um, attack speed and damage multiplier. Not much of either. Dash cooldown. Yeah, I'll take that. That could just save me. Act. I'm going to use some dashes offensively to get some attack speed here. 1 million XP, or 1 million HP left, I should say. He's back underground again. And his children are coming for me. Along with a big old vulture. Okay. I think we have so many abilities that they're just like knocked back like crazy. <laughs> it's just like the definition of overload. Like you just throw so much at them that they don't know what to do. I'm gonna... I was gonna say I'm gonna dash down here a few times, but I can kind of just walk through these guys. I think our knockback is insane or something. Did I build a bunch of knockback at some point? I think I did with that one heroic card. And it's just like unstoppable. My knockback might be screwing with the boss too. Yeah, I'll take some more. <laughs> yeah, I'll take I'll take 200 more. Damn, she wants a player. Holy shit! <laughs> look at it. Look at our. Did you see our sword rings chasing us? 33 million damage from crossbow. Sword ring. Oh my god. Oh, I thought spear outpaced pike for a second. Yeah, windblade came in late, but it went it went clutch. I guess crossbow was just nuts. Honestly, these weapons down here, I couldn't even tell what they were doing at the end. Except thunderstaff was actually like, there was a bunch of them. I think because I just had so many extra projectiles. That was insane, dude. Alright. Finish our first D rank. I'm gonna just max all this out. I think was something I said last time anyways. 
which I think we can do, not easily, but get really good progress at least. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, well that's really good though. That's gonna be some big meta progression. And then next time, I'll do one level here, why not? We'll start working on all that. Heck yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you want to leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can see more in the future. And next time, we'll check out a D-rank world and see what kind of trouble we can get up to there. Really appreciate you guys watching. And as always, have a great day. Mm -hmm.